doing today? Today we are going to unbox, set up, and review the Google Nest Cam. This is the battery powered version. It is good for outdoor and indoor. Here's a little bit of information on it. It's got a two megapixel color sensor, a 6x digital zoom, up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. It does have HDR encoding. The field of view is 130 degrees. It has a speaker and a microphone, so you can speak to anybody you'd like through the camera. And then the night vision has six high-powered infrared LEDs. The charging cable length that's included is one meter or 3.3 feet. So first off, you're probably looking at this box and thinking, what a beat up box. Yeah, it definitely is. I ordered this from Kohl's. And I must say I'm not very happy with their shipping department. They literally threw it in a poly bag that was probably eight times bigger than this. And it literally just got thrown around the truck when it was delivered. So as you can see, every corner is massively dented. I'm sure this thing's going to work perfectly fine because they package it really well. But that's, that's inexcusable to me. They need to put a $180 electronic item in a box. So anyways, enough about Kohl's and don't order your electronics like I did through them. But let's go ahead and unbox this. I'll tell you about it. I'll show you how to set it up on your app real quick. And I'll show you some sample video of daytime footage, nighttime footage. And we'll see how quickly it'll alert your phone. Basically every, everything you want to know about this cam. So let's go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and pop the seal. All right, inside the box, we have the camera itself. You gotta scan that QR code, and it will connect it automatically to your app and Wi-Fi after you type in your password. Here is the mount. It is all magnetic, which is really nice. That's a very, very strong magnet. That thing will not go anywhere. Let's see what else is on the box. Of course, you have your manuals on how to set it up. You have your charging cable which this is a magnetic charging cable. You just drop that in there and that's gonna charge it for you. Or I believe you can also have this wired if you don't wanna use just the battery operation. So that's magnetic as well, so very nice and easy. And it does have a basically a tripod or a camera mount. It does come in with the AC adapter as well, which is nice. And underneath all that, okay, so this is your mounting bracket. This is what you're going to attach to your house. There's also a couple of screws down in there to mount the mounting bracket. So what you're going to do is you're going to mount this onto your house or wherever you plan on hanging this. So this is going to be secured into your house. And then you're going to put this on and then basically twist it on to lock it. And then that's going to hold and then you just magnetically put your camera on there, which is really cool. Pretty cool, there is the speaker. And then this little dot I believe is the microphone. All right, so that is everything included in the box itself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set this up in your app. It should be very simple, and I'll compare it to my older Nest Cams, which I believe from what I've seen online, and it's kind of a big deal. All of my Nest Cams are on my Nest app. So if you have like a Nest thermostat, you can see all your cameras on that app with your thermostat and control everything from that one app. On this one, I believe you have to use the Google Home app, and this is gonna be the first camera I've set up on that too. So I'll let you know if it's just as easy as on the Nest app. It should be very easy, but I wish I could have this also on my Nest app because I have cameras at my house and at my business, and they all run through that. All right, I got the camera plugged in, and now we are going to set it up. As you can see, the little blue light is on and ready to go. It means it's basically looking for the app. So you pull up Google Home, hit this little plus icon. We're gonna set up a device, go to new device. Previous one, you click on where you want it to set up, whether it's your home or office or a place like that. Now it is currently looking for a device. Okay, what are you setting up? We got a camera. Nest Cam Outdoor Indoor Battery. Scan the QR code. That is what was on 
the camera itself. So I'm gonna scan that real quick. All right, so it found it, Nest Cam battery. Next. So now it is going to install. You have to agree to plug in the camera. It's already plugged in. Where are you putting this? I'm just gonna go ahead and do outdoors. because That's probably where I'll stick it overnight. That way I can get some footage. So you can see it is preparing. All right, cool, the device is ready. Very simple to set up. Worked the first time I tried. And so if you have other Google or Nest cameras, it's even easier to set up because as soon as you scan that code, it already knows you're in the system. So I don't even have to put in my Wi-Fi or password or anything like that. So here I'm just gonna click something random for now. I can always change that later. Now here's that update I was saying. All right, the update is complete. And as you can see, it is connected and ready to be used. Pretty cool, super, super, super easy to do. Okay, after you do that, you're gonna click next. I will use the magnetic mount, because that's just so easy and convenient. I'll just do already install, because it's gonna walk me through how to install it. And you can set this all up right here, and then you can disconnect it and put it anywhere you want it, and it'll reconnect and do all that with no issue. The green light will let you know the camera is on. Of course, I actually like that. Some people like when it's turned off, but personally, if I have a camera system and someone's walking up, I kind of want them to know that I have a camera. That way they know they're being recorded. And most likely some people will see that and walk away just, just because of the green light. So live viewing. Okay, that's cool. So if it's blinking green, that means somebody is in the app watching the video live. All right, we're all set. And now the camera is in here. This is the basically the Google Home app. So you have everything you have. You can have your, your lights, your cameras, your thermostat. Uh, if you have any like uh, Google Homes, any other Google type camera, the Nest doorbell. Uh, other displays, once again, your thermostat, any Google speakers, or really anything else that's going to be Wi-Fi enabled. So to see your actual footage, you click here on cameras. So here's the live. Here's the live, 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 live. Ah. So how quickly this connects to your phone and app, as you saw with me just putting my hand over, it's almost instant, which is really good. And yes, everything's set up right here. So it might take a little bit further, say if you have this outside or in your garage, but I'll be putting that through the test very soon and you'll see that in this video. So I'm gonna show you some footage from the daytime, the nighttime. And if you guys have anything specific you'd like to see on this, please let me know down in the comments. If you're new to this channel, please do me a huge favor and like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And I will update you in just a moment and show you the footage that I got from last night and All today. All right, everybody. So if you open up your Google Home app, this is what you're going to typically see because with the battery-powered units, they kind of sit idle until there is something that it sees and then it will alert you or show you live on the screen as it picks up the alert. The thing that I love about the non-battery versions is that they always record 24-7 live. So if you click on your Nest app or even this Google Home app and then you click on cameras, it's going to instantly show you the live feed. Um, not a big deal because all you have to do is pull this up and then click live video. Anything that it here is the history, and as you can see, you can scrub the timeline and go exactly to the point that it starts recording. 
Not sure who this weirdo is. I don't know what he's doing on my property here. But I guess I'll just let him do this. Looks like he's recording something. Yeah, sir, you need you need to leave. What are you doing recording my camera? Uh, sir, come on. You gotta go. This is weird. Sir. Alright, man, you better get out of here now. I'm gonna... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Have a great day. Here's a real quick nighttime shot while I was setting this camera up. Alright guys, here I have a Nest Outdoor camera in the front of my garage and I want to see how quickly this will alert me with the motion detection. Then we'll go straight to the Nest Outdoor battery version and see if that is any quicker. Because the one I have above my garage has been out for a few years. And of course the new battery version is the newest and latest and greatest. So let's go outside and see how quickly this will alert that it sees us. Taking a while. Alright, this one's not picking up for some reason. Let's see if the new one does. Right in front of the new one. And there we go, there's the new one. So that was much better, much quicker. I'd say within three to four seconds I got the alert, so that's pretty cool. And there I am, talking to you on camera. Alright everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned anything. If there's anything specific you'd like to see on this camera, please let me know and I'll try to make that happen. If you're new to this channel, please do me the big favor and like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you know. And if you want to see this compared to any other cameras, let me know and I'll try to make that happen as well. Y'all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one.